Today is Challenge Day, and it's also May 4th, so may the 4th be with you. Hello, welcome back to the Fox Strength Performance YouTube channel. I am Taylor Fox, and today I'm doing a little bit of challenge. Power Build has having their PA state championship today for powerlifting. I hope everybody does really well on that. And it had me thinking a little bit about like my powerlifting days and my first total. But mainly I wanted to do a challenge just because I kind of lined up with over 100 subscribers, over 100,000 total views, and I'm right at 100 uploads right now. And just to kind of like show some appreciation, I know it's not like a huge following, but I appreciate you guys that have subscribed, have supported the channel, have checked out some of the affiliates, Not Dead Yet, Rep Fitness. It really means a lot. And like, I've grown this channel from really nothing. Like I remember being on second shift on break and just posting little shorts and stuff, like really just doing this to try to have a little bit of a, like an exercise catalog for clients. And now I feel like I've really gained some traction and I'm getting like additional views, additional subscribers every day, which is pretty cool. So my first powerlifting total was 1265. It was pretty crazy. Uh, I kind of just entered comp on a whim, loved to lift weights. And I was just like, let's do this up at Penn State. It was the charity meet that USAPL, they put on with USAPL every year. And, you know, I, I pulled sumo, which is pretty interesting. And I remember a girl had done her third attempt at what I ended up opening at in in the 300 something like 335 365 which is funny it's crazy to think i've now progressed more to efficient conventional deadlift and my deadlift being my best lift that's what i ended up totaling like as a 18 year old power lifter uh today i want to try to do what i'm calling a 100 rep challenge with that total so i'm going to do a squat a bench and a deadlift and go back and forth all the way around from each lift to set some ground rules, I can do a maximum of 10 reps at each lift, each set. So it's not like I'm just going to rep out the bench or the deadlift and then do like five reps of the squat. So it should be fairly even. Because of my limitations with barbells, I'm going to do a 425 buffalo bar squat. And then I'm going to bench with the power bar and deadlift with an axle, which obviously lines up well. With my competition prep right now, deadlifting with an axle. So I think that'll be good. And just go around, see what my time ends up being, which will be determined when I finish. I think it should be pretty fun, a little bit of different. And something I want to like kind of add to the channel is challenges, whether that be lifting challenges or eating challenges. So let's get after it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going with a little bit of a red and black theme today with the... SBD singlet, which I really didn't wear too often when I power lifted because it was a little big and I ended up getting a tight one, which I liked a lot better, but it does fit better now. I fill it out really well and it's nice and flexible and easy to get on. going to go with the, the red and black SBD dunks as well as I got the power build shirt underneath here. So looking fly first, uh, powerlifting related thing I've done in a while. All right, so here we are, pretty involved setup. I'm still unsure if I have enough weight, but I think we'll get there. So just doing some, some warm-up sets. Got 235 on the squat, 225 on the bench, and then I got the deadlift over here with 275 right now. So I think I've done some sets of five. I'm just gonna go with some, some singles right now, maybe doubles or triples, and just try to get further warmed up. And we guess we'll decide on transitions. Definitely where strongman comes into play doing this kind of thing. Oh. Idea for Shaw Classic 2026, uh, squat into bench or deadlift in the bench. Let Brian Shaw know. We're going to have a very involved transition for the deadlift because it's over here.
Got the powerlifting belt only today. No strongman stuff. Oof. Another ground rule is going to be that I pause the first rep on each bench. So subsequent reps, I won't just touch and go, but that first one for a set of five, I'll pause. I'm going to try to go no straps, so over under for the axle. I think it'll be good to work on my grip, but if... Um, if I feel like it's going to be too much, I might try to like do singles and then switch to straps. We'll see how it goes. Sneak in this last single for deadlift and then it's money time. We have started the clock at 59 minutes. I really hope it doesn't take that long. Bar is loaded. Could have taken 265 off and just done the 1,000 pound challenge, but decided to go for it. This is definitely going to be tough. And we'll do first rep over under, and then I'll rock the straps and go from there. Oh, my God. 
So that's 18 so far. So between eight on the squat, four on the bench, and six on the deadlift. And now I probably need some rest. Eight, even with clipping the rack, that was rough. Now we're at 30. Hit some doubles here. So I think I'm going to call an audible, but I'm going to do some final strong sets on these, these weights first. Let's get after it.
So the issue I'm having, aside from the fatigue and just it being really humid in here, my left hip is really tightened up into my lower back and I don't really feel it while I squat, but once I rack the bar, like any walking tension on that glute, it's just, I feel it the whole time. So then I come over here to deadlift and it does affect me on the bench with the arch, getting into a good position, squeezing and using my legs. So I bench and then I get to the deadlift and it's just like standing up. I'm like, oh my God. So I did 52 reps with a 1265 total. And I was just like, I'm going to cut, cut it here. I do want to try to get to hundred. So I just, I dropping it down to a thousand, it's actually a thousand five total. So I'm going out of order now, but 255 on bench. I just hit 10. So now I'm at 62. I'm going to adjust to a 345 squat and a 405 deadlift. I hope that doesn't look like a cop out. I'm just trying to play it smart. Like you got to look at this as a training session. Also, it's not just like doing a challenge for whatever. Uh, we were 40 minutes in. I don't know what it is now, but I'll see if I can finish. And I think it's still be pretty cool. Like fit over 50 reps at that total. And then 50 at the, the lower one is, is a lot of work. Let's see what happens. Finally getting some sets of 10 in. Woo! Was this a good decision using the axle? No, it was a terrible decision. I do appreciate the effort it gave me on grip. It was nice to see that I could really do multiple reps like that, soaked in sweat, but not for this challenge.
We're at 90 reps, three minutes to go. So I had hoped to go squat bench deadlift to end it, but I knew I was short on time. So I got a couple reps on the squat to bring me to 96 and then just went for the reps on bench to finish it off. That was not easy. That was a lot of volume. It's, it's crazy how much one lift takes out of the other, but we saw that all the time in powerlifting. We definitely see that all the time in strongman going from one event to the next. You gotta have that work capacity and you see guys numbers just drop off just because they did a squat before this or in the case of strongman they did a deadlift as the first event and then they have pressing or a medley next so it's pretty crazy i'm definitely gonna just wind down try to recover from this get hydrated but i hope you guys enjoy this i will definitely be bringing some more challenges to the channel keep trying to grow it and bring some variety on there until next time keep lifting those heavy weights and hold strong yeah.